Business Stack Chapter 15 Pre-Class Assignment Tutorial Question 1 Quadratic Regression Equation shown below is for a sample of n equals to 29 Complete Part A Group D Part A Predict Y for x equals to 2 In here all we're doing is we're substituting the 2 in for the x So we have y equals to 4 plus 9 times 2 plus 7.5 times 2 square, so we have y equals to 4 plus 18 plus 30, so we have y equals to 52. Part B, suppose that the computed t-statistic for the quadratic regression coefficient is 2.64 at the 0 0.01 level of significance. Is there evidence that the quadratic model is better than the linear model? In here, our HTML is that the quadratic effect does not significantly improve the model. Our alternate hypothesis is that the quadratic effect significantly improved the model, so we have beta 2 does not equal to 0. Next, to find the critical value, we're going to use Excel to help us solve that. We're going to use the formula equal t dot inv bracket, and then we're going to type in the alpha over 2, which is 0 0.005, comma 26, which is the degree of freedom, and we're going to get two, negative 2.7787. So the degree of freedom, the formula for that is n minus k minus 1. n is the sample size, k is the number of independent variable. So we have 29 minus 2 minus 1 equals to 26 for the degree of freedom. And for the alpha over 2, this, this is the 2 tail, so therefore we have to divide the alpha divided by 2. Finally, since the absolute value of the t statistic is less than the absolute value of the t critical, we do not reject HNL as a result. Part C, if the t statistic is now 1.08, how would that change the result? And the answer is that it will not change the result since our absolute value of the t statistic is still less than t critical, so therefore we do not reject H null. Part D, the linear effect is now negative 9, so basically we have the slope of x1 equals to negative 9, and we're trying to solve for y given that x equals to 2. So we're going to substitute that into the equation. So we have y equals to 4 minus 9x plus 7.5x squared. So we have y equals to 4 minus 9 times 2 plus 7.5 2 squared. So we have y equals to 4 minus 18 plus 30. So we have y equals to 16.